This video explains how to inspect your data using the view function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And we could print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by simply executing line five of the code. So in this line of code, I'm only specifying the name of our data frame. So in this case, our data frame is called data. And after running this line of code, our data is printed at the bottom in the RStudio console. So you can already see that our data set contains five rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. And each of these columns contains different values. However, if we want to visualize our data in a data viewer, then we can apply the view function to our data set, as you can see in line seven of the code. And within the view function, we also simply need to specify the name of our data set. So in this case, data. So after running line seven of the code, you can see that a new window is opened. And this window shows the structure of our data in a nicer way. So as you can see in this window, the rows are shown with the row names one to five, the column names are shown x1, x2 and x3. And in this table, you can also see the values of our data frame. Alternatively to applying the view function, we could also simply click on the data set at the top right of our studio. So if you click on this data frame, our window is opened as well. So whether you want to apply the view function actively in your RStudio script, or if you want to click on the data set at the top right, is a matter of taste. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.